Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kelly Allen and welcome to this week's video. So I've got a bit of an update for you. Sorry, I'm still swallowing that energy drink. I've got a bit of an update for you, just on a couple of plants. This one's very, very low key, to be honest, and I've just got a bit of a, a mix. I've got a little bit of pink, a little bit of dark, quite a bit of variegation and a bit of chocolate. So without further ado, I'm just gonna talk you very quickly through some of the things I've picked up. Now, normally I would pick up way more than this. There would be more variety, all the things, right? But it, literally, if you could see what this looks like in here, this is ridiculous because I'm sending out rescue boxes. I don't know what order you're seeing this in. You, they may have already all gone. So some of you might not know what I'm talking about. But I'm sending out rescue boxes. That aisle there is it's, it's basically filled with plants. This one's almost filled with plants. That one's filled with plants. That's filled with plants. Feeds over there so you can't get around the corner. Plus there's more plants that I couldn't find in the last video and now I have, great. The whole thing is filled. So I can't really get to a lot of the plants that I would like to. So I guess that's kind of my excuse for not having a big update. But I want to give you an update on a couple of things that I found. Okay, so I'm just gonna get straight into it. I've waited a long time to be able to convince you guys that this shit is different and I've just got a bit of sticker on my finger somehow. Right, I'm gonna do my best to show you this and I realize this is not the best way of doing this because there's a lot of things in the background. It's just not, it's not helpful. I get this, I get this. But this here, can you see this? It is Monstera Deliciosa. I wonder if I can actually use this stool. Two seconds, guys. Just pull this, sorry, that is horrible. Let's pull this back a second. Right, I am actually gonna just talk through it, right? This this here is Monstera Deliciosa, but does it look a bit different to you? Maybe just a little bit different, just, 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 just a little bit different. Maybe. I'd love to show you a normal MD. Hang on, see if I can get down here. Ooh, can I have this one? Right, this here. Plot twist, it's from a variegated Monstera a while ago, but I'm now going to show you why this is different, and I've waited months to do it. So, can you see these two plants? Hopefully, I really hope you can see that they are different. If you cannot, then I have failed and I can't come back from this. But I need you to know, especially here as well, how different these are. I really hope that comes off, you know. I'm trying. Oh God, Ugh, it's wet. Can you see the difference? What you should be seeing, if I'm if I'm really failing at this for you, is the fenestrations, so these splits, are so much more spidery and wider. So if I just, two seconds, let me just try and make this a bit more obvious for you. Sorry, pop this down. This is, well, it was variegated, but hey ho, now it's not. Great, cool, awesome. It's basically that time I cut the stuff off there. I still have all the variegates. They're growing so slow, it's ridiculous, but uh, I've got them all there anyway. So obviously it rooted well. Great. But this here anyway is Monstera Deliciosa small form. That's all you need to care about. So I would say this was this was reasonable. There's some splits in it. It can get more splitty. You probably can't see that. No. This is looking really worse for wear, by the way. Just ignore this. The whole plant needs essentially made again, which is why I was propagating some stuff. I can't show you the large. There's a large form here. Probably can't see that. But you know the difference between small and large anyway. I needn't bore you with that. Anyway, the point is this is semi-mature. It's probably the same level of maturity as this one, if I'm honest. For all intents and purposes, the petioles are about the same. Yeah, it's all really the same. The only main difference is perhaps where the sinus is, perhaps like this. I would argue the ones on this other monster are a bit flatter. And generally the fenestrations here, they, they just stay closer together. So I am looking to confirm what I'm saying to make sure I'm not pushing but these generally stay closer together, right? They're much more closed. They're narrow. Narrow the right word. I think that's what I'm looking for. Conversely, guys, conversely, this one, we'll pick this up. This one is just a bit, oh, sorry, a bit different. Oh, that's not pleasant, apologies. This one, I really hope you can see here, they are much wider and a bit more spidery. Now, basically, this is Monstera Brazil. Is it just Monstera Deliciosa? Brazil common form, I think. I do sell this. I've got some somewhere um, that I would sell. This one that you're looking at now, I, I tend not to. That's my bigger one. I do have one here. I don't think I can get it out though, you know, I think it's it's lodged. Um, I do have some common form here. Some of it's a little bit pale actually, it needs fed. It's been neglected quite a bit. I do have some common form, but it's not as far along as this. This is way more fenestrated just because this one's been allowed to grow. Does it need pulled? Yes, absolutely. It's kind of ridiculous. I may have put this up on a video with you guys ages ago, so you'll probably know what it should have been like, I would think, but that's what he looks like. Again, I'm updating you just to prove he is different. <laughs> To prove he is different, because a lot of people, I don't think they get it. Um, and I just feel like if you're really into Monstera Deliciosa, I don't think it's super expensive. 
I'm not saying it's super cheap. I don't think it's super cheap. It's not Monsera Deliciosa cheap, but I don't think it's super expensive either. I haven't sold one in a long time. That's why I'm saying that, obviously. Let me just put this down while I talk to you. But I think if you wanted to buy one, you could probably get a hold of one. I would just start Googling on the groups if it's something that you may be interested in. Oh, I may as well put this one back as well while I talk to you. Um, if it's something that you think you might like. I quite like it. And to be honest, I'd quite happily have one in my house over the small form. I would love a large form in my house. And I've said this for a long time, but... I value my walls a little bit too much and I think the plant will absolutely nuke my entire kitchen. It was quite an expensive kitchen, so I might not do that. What I would be prepared to do, and I know I said no poles, but I would be prepared to put a normal MD in there or a variegated one. For some reason, I just want the normal one. I, that's really weird. I think I just get very fatigued by variegated stuff here. I know it happens. So I might do that, but I'm thinking about a common form, a Brazil common form, because it's just different, right? So it is all green, but it's just like, oh, why does yours look different? You know, I kind of like that. So sorry, I'm out of breath. They should not be out of breath. I'm wearing um, pants, gym pants, and they are so tight and they come up really far. They come up to here. <sighs> breathe. So yeah, I wanted to show you those just so you could see the difference and to prove that I do have a point that we're different. I remember when I hauled this stuff, I was just like, see, they're different. Everyone was like, nope, they ain't. But they is. Anyway, that, sorry, that was a very long update. Quick one on these. This isn't really to update you on a plant, it's to update you on a situation. And that's that I am still propagating these boys. Again, I show these every so often because they're so good. I don't know where I'm selling them. I don't think they're easy to get still. They haven't become super easy. But these are what's known as philodendron, squammy coal, blood. Blood. That's what I call them. That's what I call them. They might be a dark. It might be the same plant. I assume it is. Now you might think, ooh, okay. So it's really dark and it is. I'm wearing black for reference. I'm wearing a black t-shirt. But when you turn it round, you get this. I've sold a handful of these in my time. Um, those of you that are lucky enough to have had one from me, you're probably one of about less than 10 people, to be honest, that have had one. Um, because I bought them in. I'll not bore you too much if you've heard it before. I bought them in. As soon as I bought them in, I put them on camera. The supplier, oh my God, did he quadruple the price or something? It was crazy. So I'd sold some already and then I just kept them back because I was like, well, I'm not going to buy them in at that price. I'll just propagate the ones I have. So I have them out and about. And obviously this is a, a propagation. I mean, I could sell it like this, to be honest. It's quite cute. Cute. It's definitely rooted. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that and remind you that it exists because it's beautiful. And if you're a fan of serpents, I think this one is as good, if not better dare I say it. It's certainly tougher, guys, because serpents, I used to think it was really easy, but I've completely changed my mind 100% on it. This, much nicer. Check that out. Ooh, Denon. I will keep going through at speed because that was the original intent before I got distracted with the monsters. But then again, they are very distracting. This one, again, an update because it turns out I've got more than one of these. I must have propagated it. So I have an anthurium upstairs that I don't really know what it is. I just know it's chocolatey. It's like a chocolatey crystal, but not. I just wanted to show you because I saw it and I thought it looked hot and I just thought I'd update you on it. And again, I can only reach certain things. So this is him and he's literally got a tag in him which just says A chocolate. I don't fully know what it is. No doubt it's a hybrid, guys. Do I think this came from? It could have come from Ecuador. It could have come from Indonesia because Indonesia are very good at this sort of stuff. So I don't know, but all I can tell you is it happened a long time ago. So it's not something I can even tell you what it is. This was years ago I got this if you followed me for a while but I just want to show you very quickly because this looks very nice hopefully you can see the chocolatiness if I show you an older leaf that is admittedly a bit rotated that's the color it hardens off pretty much a normal green I would say just very nice and muted but then you get this when it comes in and it, it does come in kind of a chocolatey color and I really really like it I like him he's not the easiest thing in the world he's sort of medium he's certainly not difficult but he has good moments and bad moments he's He's, how do I put this? He's tough, but he will show up problems. Uh, what could I liken it to? <sighs> I don't want to say regal because that's... Pff, Jesus. <laughs> We're not putting anything in that category. I don't know. I, I can't think of what I mean, but you can get a bit of crispiness and stuff like that, but generally it will grow well and it won't die. That doesn't make any sense, does it? I don't know. It grows all right though. And I've had this for a while now and you can actually tell how long I've had it by one, I have a little bit of greenery growing over the top of the pond, which is not ideal. But two, you can kind of tell by the fact the pond is like all one unit almost. I've had this shit a while. I've had it a while. Will I sell it? No, probably not. What's the point of having it? I don't know. I should probably try and propagate it because I, I do think this is quite nice. I'll just have to sell it as like Anthurium SP chocolate or something. I don't know what it is. If you think you know what it is, obviously let me know. But I haven't got the clue. Oh, here's another one to update you on. And again, you can see how long this has been here by the state of the lecker, which I'm not proud of. I'll show you the state of the lecker. You can see how long this has been here. No joke, no joke. This is, what is it? Monstera Burley Marks 
flame my nearly said fantasy no 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 that's something else um just want to show you that because to be fair this has gone unfed as evidenced by the slight neglect here they don't size up brilliantly and i just want to show you the reality of not everyone growing them because most of you have more time than me and you can get to everything this is way too big for me to handle obviously and things do get missed just what it is um but generally this is probably what happens if you don't pay too much attention to these plants they sort of stay like this it's like a really weird it's almost like alocasia tiny dancer with something added it's just a bit bizarre so that's what happens when they don't size up uh can i get the one that does no because it's grown in a really weird formation that i'm just not gonna get to i'm not gonna be able to get to that they they don't size up very well in general it is a bit of a problem um so if you're not good at getting things to size up this probably isn't the plan for you guys now don't get me wrong they look great when they're mature but unless you're prepared to put up with shit like this i'm actually gonna semi dissuade you to have them obviously each to their own you do what you want but in terms of monstera this is it's good in it's tough but it's so slow you would think it wasn't a monstera it is so slow and it's so not keen on sizing up you would think it wasn't a monstera they're not the most fun thing i'm gonna put that down because honestly plant kind of does my head in a little bit oh but i want to show you this because funny enough i've actually pulled this out of a propagation so ages ago and i've been meaning to sort these out and i just haven't ages ago i propagated some philodendron florida beauty and i've left it so long i haven't just got a couple of leaf cuttings which is actually what i was going to be selling some cases i've got full plants now because i left it that long so at some point i will sell these because to be honest they're quite sellable and you can literally see oh a little bit of rot coming out the bottom of that one you can literally see um again the lack of disturbance in the lecker just to prove my point and how long i've literally had these it's not even funny that's a bit small i suppose it's obviously it's coming up to winter now and it's got a bit smaller but generally speaking though this is this is really nice it needs a bit of a clean off but it's very very pretty so i might just sell soon a whole bunch of florida beauty i'll have to go through them i can't tell if i want to do them according to an individual plant or i want to grade them I did this once years ago with pink pin processors. I actually graded the variegation. So I basically said, hi, here is a grade A, for example. I would call this grade A because there's a lot of variegation. I would have one that was grade B that probably had about 50% of this. And then I'd call one grade C, grade C, sorry, that had minimal variegation, but it was still variegated. Like, I'm not going to sell something green, but it would have very minimal variegation. I'm debating doing the same thing because when you've got as many as I have and there's at least two full trays, is there three? No, I think there is two. Then doing them individually is is just a nightmare and there's just no need and the confusion you'll end up getting for accidentally selling the wrong one to the wrong person when it gets picked it's not worth it so i might do that and i might even do like an extra video for you guys where i just go through and grade them it'll literally just be like an extra thing with music or whatever and i think i'll just grade them um which could be cool i suppose so if you want to see that let me know but yeah i just want to show you these to show you that not every plant is like this but at least 50 percent of them are <laughs> So that's fun. I have some full plants. I I would say I'll only propagate some of them again if it just looks like they should be. And I can't even really tell you what I mean by that. It's just on a plant by plant basis. Maybe I should do that video and then we can go through it and then I can tell you what I'm thinking and stuff. Because I did that when I was cutting the variegated Monstera that time. And I went through and I just took you through my thought process. And a lot of people said, hey, I actually quite like that. Because I, I can understand why you're making the decisions that you're making or the predictions you're making. So I might do that. But I just wanted to show you how cute this was. Oh, Obviously, that's full yellow, needless to say, not ideal. However, guys, it's on the bottom. And all the growth after that we've had is really, really good. And there is variegation on this, by the way. I don't know if you can see. It's a bit less. It's maybe just half. Or is that more? Oh, actually, no, it's... Mm, I don't know. I'm going to let you decide how much variegation's on this. Two seconds. See that there? It's definitely... There's definitely a chunk here. But I can't decide what's going on with the rest of it because it, it does look here like one side's variegated and one isn't. I don't know, answers on a postcard. But he's very cute. We'll pop him back. Speaking of variegated though, I've picked up two. Needless to say, I have a full tray of these, like literally. I've picked up two just to show you the process. Um, these aren't even the best two, I would argue. There's, there's literally a full tray of variegates and they are so strong in variegation. Like some of them are, are nearly too much. There's a lot with a ton of variegation. But again, I want to show you these because I find the color change on these plants to be really gorgeous. It is my top philodendron of all time. So obviously I love it, but the variegated one is, is very nice. So I will show you them, um, sort of one than the other. So I don't drop them. 
don't really want to be dropping this because this one is very, it's very loose in the pot. It needs propagated, as you can see, literally. So this here, if you couldn't tell, is variegated glory awesome and it's beautiful. So the newest leaf is actually this one and notice it is a bit yellowy and I've talked about this a lot before. The variegation on these, or at least my batch, I'm not going to speak for all batches of variegated glory awesome because other people have different ones, but the variegation generally on mine will come through kind of yellow, right? It ain't going to stay that way as evidenced by, see these older leaves and it's all on the same plant. This is, as you can see, it's the same plant. The older leaf, and yes, that's that's a bit shite, that one. It goes pretty much white. It's the most coolest thing you've ever seen. And if I just hold it back to make sure you can understand that it's not the camera blowing it out sort of thing, that's really white. The mid ones that are in the process of fading down are still that creamy color here, look. See that? And then this new one is yellow. I want to show you this just so you can actually see how awesome these plants are because they're really, really, really good. Now, I am actually going to be cutting these very soon. Not necessarily these specific plants, but I'm going to cut them and I think I'm going to sell single leaves. So you'll get, a, you know, there'll be a variety of different ones and I probably will list them individually, obviously, when it comes to this, for sure. And then you can grow them on from that because everyone's got a pretty decent amount of root, obviously. So they can just be sliced in between the node and I'll probably sell them that way. Some of them, I think I'll propagate and keep more of, obviously, so I don't just sell them all. It just depends. But you should get a really good mix. This is a less variegated one, arguably. Oh, there's actually two in the pot. It's because one's green. Uh, yes. Right, so every green leaf you can see, I don't know if you can see this. You probably can't. Every green leaf you can see is another plant, actually. See if I can make my point. Oh, God, don't fall. Oh, I nearly died. So if I just pull this leaf here and this leaf here, can you see? Hopefully you can there. It's actually a different plant. So all of those variegates there are off one plant. So it's not super unstable. It's actually very stable. And again, same thing is happening. So you've got a lovely creamy bit here. You've got a lovely creamy bit here. And then the new leaf here is coming in yellow. Now, I actually really like this. And I, I like the fact it does that. I don't know of too many plants that do do it. I know Florida Beauty can do it, right? Right? But the difference is the variegation is not coming through a warm, creamy color. It's coming through a bit greenier than that. So if I can just pick this back up real quick. Don't get wrong, for, for all intents and purposes, it is sort of doing the same. If I can show you the new leaves on this one, which I can't really point out. I'm pointing it with my chin here, right? That one on the left versus that. You know what? They look kind of the same on camera. In real life, this is more of a greeny yellow. And this is like a, a really like orange juice, yellowy orange color when that comes out. That to me is really quite orangey there. Let me just put this back down again. I don't want to break things, but they're just so nice. So nice. Again, not really a plug to sell them. I don't really have any to sell yet because they haven't been cut. So it's nothing like that. I just thought these plants are in a really good position to show you the journey that they make. Ugh, I should really like depot that because it would look really, really cute without the green, right? But it's what it is. But yeah, that's how cute they look. Can I get a thumbnail out of this? Because this is just gorgeous. Let's just be honest here. Let me try and get a cute thumbnail. <gasps> Ooh, yes. Can I do them together? Hi, thumbnail with me. Uh, sort of. How do I get this to look hot and sexy like that maybe? I don't know. Maybe that'll do. They're so, 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 so pretty. So yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, but is it yellow variegation? Is it why? Like, what is it? The answer is it's kind of all of it. <laughs> it's kind of all of it, but it's not a weird process. It's a really, really pretty process. In my opinion, yes, I'm biased. Um, that's the process it goes through. It's really, really nice. And then where is it? The white. You see there? Oh, there. I can get all three in this frame, maybe even four leaves and you can actually see my point like that. See there. Oh yeah. Really, really nice to see the color journey on these plants. Very, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. So if you're thinking about one, you can wait a bit longer, of course. I don't know what's happening with price. I haven't even looked, guys. Full disclosure. Clearly, I've been growing them. I haven't looked. Um, obviously, I invite anyone to wait. If, if the price of something is too much for them, of course, no matter who you buy it from. But it was more just to show you the amazing color journey that these guys go through because, oh, it's honestly one of the prettiest things. It's one of the prettiest things. Right. This thing I'm going to show you now, it is very pretty and it it's obviously at some point, it hasn't been neglected, but it's obviously dried out and it makes me so sad because this was growing beautifully and it's tailing off a bit. But I have an idea. I have an idea for you. So I'm going to hold this guy up and I'm going to get the ID that was given to me literally a day ago. Let me find it. Because someone, I think it is, is it Don? Did you email and you gave me an ID on this? Let me load up your email because I can't remember what you said to me. But I think it's a hybrid. Um, ooh, where are you? You could be anywhere. There, here we go. 
What did you say to me? You said that this was a Begonia Morris Amy and it was hybridized in Aux Austin, Texas, 1992 by Naren Stewart, is that? Um, female parent is BU062 and uh, the male parent is P Pinafore, B Pinafore Sport, I think. Sorry, I'm mincing this entire read out. I apologize. I promise you I can read. Um, thank you very much for that, Don. Um, obviously, I did email you back, but thank you very much for that. Honestly, this funny enough, is my prized possession. I absolutely love this thing. Very weird. I don't even like pink. I don't even like pink most of the time, but I really like this. It's the formation, and this is something that can definitely make me fall in love with Begonia. This formation is absolutely amazing. I really like this. I just wish that I hadn't and you know, I, I did it. I did an oopsie, really. You can see here the lower leaves are just not looking great, and it's sizing down, which is a real shame. I don't know if some of that's because it's uh, it's getting taller and it, it wants something. I'm not fully sure. So if you let me know, that'd be great. Um, I don't know if it's just needs a feed or whatever. I haven't really tried to feed this. Um, it, it hasn't really asked for it yet. It's just so you know um, vibrant. But I don't know. I want to show you the back again because oh my god, look at that. So that's what it was. It was Begonia Morris Amy. This is why I'm showing you it, by the way. One, I, I, I did bad. I did bad things. But two, I have an ID now. So thank you very much, Don, for that. I'm going to pop him down and I promise I will try and take better care of him because he's very, very cute. Are these toxic cats, by the way? Tell me if you know in the comments because I can't remember because I, I wouldn't mind that in the house. I could certainly try it. It's just there's nothing pink in the house, but we could try it. Maybe it needs more humidity because for whatever reason, I think it's been actually really happy in here. So let me know if you think that would work for me. I'm not really sure, but that was the point of that anyway. It was just to show you that there is an update on it with an ID. This one is arguably the least fun update out of the whole thing, but just to let you know that I have my Philodendron Majesty and it is taking the royal piece. Um, this is him. He still hasn't sized up, guys, and it's because he's getting neglected in a corner and he's not growing up anything. I haven't even fed him. He's just sort of growing. He's growing up. He's not growing big, which is a real shame because I always say these get really, really pretty. But again, if you want something black, I am wearing black. There you go. Not really a Halloween video because we're past it now, but if you want something goth, this is really good. The petioles are a very matte texture. Matte isn't a texture, is it? It's not a colour. Is matte a texture? Yes? No? No, matte, matte is a texture. Matte has to be a texture. What is wrong with me today? Honestly, you must be watching me going, mm, how stupid are you? But literally, they're very, very matte. Can I show you what they look like? Maybe, 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 maybe. Can you see? They look more red on camera, the petioles, than what they actually are, I would say. There's, there's definitely some red coming through, but it's not as strong as potentially what the camera's showing you. But yeah, just to let you know, this is a bit much. Have these dried out? No, but they're on the verge of drying out because obviously they need watered, so... I probably caught this one just in time, but he's very, very cute and he's, he's large, but he, he could look a million times better than this. This isn't really a good advert for him, but I wanted to show you him just because he's nice and black and he goes with the other dark plant I showed you earlier on. He's very, very pretty. And that was a very cute little update that I've given for you guys. Mainly, to be honest, it was for the Monstera and the Gloriosum, I would say, were the main things I wanted to update you on. Definitely the Monstera, because I, I will make you guys love that. I'm not big on hyping plants up, but I just think that's really cool, and no one talks about it. And it's not expensive. It's not something that's going to be dangerous to hype up, you know what I mean? But I really, really like that. Let me know if you can actually see the difference there, or you still think that I'm lying to you. Because some of you have to see a difference. Let me know if you have one, actually. Either because of you've seen it in my videos, or just because you happen to have have one. Let me know what you think about those plants because I really, really like them. And if you like them enough, I will start more proactively propagating them, I suppose, because I don't actually know how available they are. I'm saying it, I have no idea. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this week's video, guys. I will love you and leave you. If you'd like to mention anything that I've talked about in this video, please leave a comment down below. And if you like this video, please feel free to leave a like. And if you want to subscribe, please feel free to do that. Also, I can't speak. I can't speak. I can't speak. I can't speak. I'm going to love you and leave you. And I'll see you next week. Bye.